Good evening, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the devotion to St. Anthony. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, all through his life, St. Anthony constantly preached the necessity of humility in attaining salvation, calling to mind the humility of Christ in his incarnation, his patient endurance in facing difficulties, and most of all, his passion and death on the cross. May we heed the call of our dear saint to be humble by admitting that we are totally dependent on God and by attributing all good to you alone. We make this prayer in your Son's most precious name. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to God our Creator, the source and author of all holiness, who has given salvation in Christ. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in St. Anthony. Guide our world leaders to seek the way of peace and assist our brothers and sisters who are oppressed. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in St. Anthony. Look with kindness on those who have not had the gospel shown to them or those who have lost their way. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in St. Anthony. Help those who are poor, who have no food or homes, and those who seek work. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in St. Anthony. Heal the sick and depressed. Let the lonely know the comfort of your love. Assist all in need of your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in St. Anthony. Lord Jesus, Bind us to you and to our neighbour with love. May our hearts not be turned away from you. May our souls not be deceived, nor our talents or minds enticed by allurements of error, so that we may never distance ourselves from your love. Thus we may love our neighbour as ourselves, with strength, wisdom and gentleness. With your help, you who are blessed, throughout all ages. Amen. A reading from the life of St. Anthony, Asidua, chapter 33, concerning the blind. A girl called Aruma, who had lost her sight for a year and a half, was brought to Blessed Anthony's Ark so that she might be cured. When she touched her eyes with the cloth that covered the Ark, she suddenly opened her eyelids, having merited to see the skylight. A certain friar of the order of Friars Maidia, Theodric by name, who for two years was deprived of sight in his left eye, devoutly came from the borders of Puglia to the ark of the saintly father Anthony. When he had stayed some time with the friars of Padua, he began to ask insistently for the grace of a cure. At last, when he obtained his much desired sight, he went away thanking God. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. Have you ever felt that God is blind? That God is blind to your sufferings? to your pain, and to your anxiety? Have you ever felt that God neglects, that God abandons, that God doesn't see you, that God doesn't know you, that God doesn't understand you? Do you feel, do you think that God is blind. Sisters and brothers, sacred scripture tells us otherwise. Sacred scripture tells us that the Lord is close to the broken heart, that the Lord knows, that the Lord sees, and that the Lord understands. The Lord knows when we get up in the morning and when we go to sleep at night. The Lord knows how many hairs we have on our head. 
The Lord knows, the Lord sees, and the Lord understands. In today's reading, we hear of people who are blind, who present themselves to the tomb of St. Anthony, looking for a cure, looking for a miracle. And indeed, they were healed. And so my brothers and sisters in Christ, as we come to this devotion today, let us too present ourselves to St. Anthony and ask for his intercession for healing, to heal us from the events in our lives, from the wounds in our life that have led us to believe that God is blind and that God doesn't care, that God doesn't see, God doesn't know, and that God doesn't understand. That deepest, darkest secret that you hold in your heart, God sees, God knows, God understands. All those times where you spend crying alone in your room, God knows, God sees, and God understands. And so my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, God loves you, God sees you, and God is proud of you. Amen. If you ask for miracles, death, error, all calamities, the leprosy and demons fly, and health succeeds infirmities. The sea obeys and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid and implore. All dangers vanish at your prayer, and deepest needs are cared for too. Let those who know your power proclaim let all Christians say, these are of you. The sea obeys and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid and implore. To the Father's Son, may glory be, and Holy Spirit eternally. The sea obeys and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid and implore. Pray for us, St. Anthony, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. God, our loving Father, you are glorified in your servant, St. Anthony, whose glory is the crowning of your gifts to him. In his life on earth, you give us an example. In our prayer communion with him, you give us his friendship. In his prayer for the church, you give us strength and protection. We praise and thank you, Lord, for these benefits. Through Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Holy Saint Anthony, you are the consolation of so many people. We come to invoke your help, confident of experiencing your goodness and power. Pray for us to the Father of mercies, that we may obtain the graces we need for ourselves and for our loved ones. Confident in the intercession of St. Anthony, let us humbly place our needs before the Lord, who hears us with tenderness and mercy. Let our response to each petition be, pray for us. That the Church will be a worthy servant of the Gospel and direct the people of God to the heart of Jesus. Saint Anthony, pray for us that our bishops and priests be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to the prophetic voice of God in today's world. Saint Anthony, pray for us that the Lord may sustain the zeal of missionaries all over the world who have forsaken earthly reaches for the sake of the kingdom. Saint Anthony, pray for us that the leaders of nations may work together to provide for the needs of the poor and may know that such needs cannot be fulfilled apart from God. Saint Anthony, pray for us 
that the family may become evermore the sanctuary of life where all are welcome as a gift rather than a burden. Saint Anthony, pray for us that all who are ill, especially those who feel alone, that they may find in Christ and in his people the path to hope and healing. Saint Anthony, pray for us and let us take this time to pause and to pray for ourselves for all of us who see God as blind that God neglects and that God abandons that we will be healed we also pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them Saint Anthony, pray for us that those who have died may rest in the peace of the heavenly kingdom. Saint Anthony, pray for us, true follower of Saint Francis. You put into our hearts the flame of your love that we may love our merciful Father in heaven and our neighbor as ourselves. Pray that we may fulfill the will of God and live the way Jesus shows us in the Gospel. Be a guide for us this day, that we may recognize the opportunities God gives us to be helping and caring. Assist us in keeping the promises we made at our baptism. Help us to obtain the grace to walk in the light of faith and to proclaim that faith by the way we live. Amen. Saint Anthony, light of the church, lover of God's law, and doctor of the gospel. Pray for us to the Son of God. Having offered up our petitions and needs before the all-loving and merciful God, let us with grateful hearts thank Him as we pray. We thank you, Father, for giving us Saint Anthony, who lived the gospel life so faithfully. Through his intercession, May the good news of Christ inspire us to build up your kingdom and make the world a more fitting place for all to live. With St. Anthony, we praise and bless you forever and ever. Amen. Together with Christians of all ages, let us pray to the Father in the words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Heavenly Father, we are humbled by the example your Son gave us through his life of humility. It truly reveals the depth of your love for us. May we as disciples of Christ and devotees of St. Anthony rely on our dear saint's intercession and heed his call to walk in the steps of love with humility of heart as we relate with our family, friends, community members and colleagues on a daily basis. And may we, who are truly dependent on you, always return to you all praise all glory and all good. We make this prayer in your Son's most precious name. Amen. And let us pray and ask for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and have mercy on you. Amen. May the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. Amen. And may the Lord bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We adore you, most, most holy Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, here and in all your churches throughout the world, world and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for joining us in this devotion to St. Anthony. Take care and see you next week. Bye-bye.